<laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are going back at it again today, working on the GTR wide body build. In the last video where we left off with the GTR wide body, we just finished welding up the fenders. We also had a little accident, and if you haven't watched it, I'm gonna put it up somewhere over here. We'll make sure you guys check it out. The biggest challenge for us was to get everything fitted and then cutting the fenders. From there on, honestly, it's just all the nitty gritty stuff. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna seal up the rears because we do have some openings in the rears from the relief cuts. So other than the fact that the car is super dirty, and you can kind of see the raindrops just to see how much it puddled, but literally it's super dirty. We kind of have a little edge on all the relief cuts, but as we bent it forward, we do create some gaps in between right here, and it goes all the way around. We're gonna be using the fiberglass underneath just to create some sort of a barrier and then on the top side for the little parts right here we are going to be using the caulking seam sealer all right so yesterday i posted on my instagram a little ask me a question poll and i wanted you guys to ask me a question and i told you guys that i am going to be featuring or i might actually might be able to answer it on the vlog so i'm just going to choose three questions from yesterday's poll and i'm going to answer it throughout the vlog so first question of the day comes from richard he says, what was your motivation to go through in choosing the charge speed body kit? That was actually really, really simple for me. When it came to choosing the wide body kit, the number one thing that I wanted to do was stand out and be different. Don't get me wrong, Rocket Bunny, Liberty Walk, Pandem, all of those, they're really nice kits. I kind of didn't want to go that route, so I wanted to choose something where like barely nobody has. Charge speed just fit that criteria because there's only three in the US that I know of right now. There was one that came out in 2016, which was the HKS SEMA build. And then there's our friend Jose. He has that lime green charge speed. And once I saw his, I was like, dude, I want that one. But yeah, so that's pretty much why I chose the charge speed white body was because there's only a handful in the US. So again, this is the only one that's gonna be in Hawaii. But the charge speed, literally there's only three right now in the US. And this is the third one right here. So that's why I chose the charge speed wide body kit. But anyways, let's just take a look at what we're working with today. We do have our fiberglass. Aaron's gonna be doing all the mixing with the resin. Honestly, I've never worked with fiberglass before. So it's kind of a learning experience for today. But before we do anything, if you guys can go ahead and please, please, please do me a favor. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And if this is your guys first time, make sure you guys subscribe because honestly, like we have such a sick build. Within the next coming months though, I am gonna tell you guys this. We do have another car planned for this channel. I'm not gonna say what car yet, but if you guys hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and like this video, you guys will find out in the next coming months. So make sure you guys subscribe. Aaron's rocking the new Definitive tank. I didn't even think I posted okay. it up on our Instagram yet. Guys, go ahead and follow my startup brand Definitive as well on Instagram. We have shirts, new tanks coming out new shirts lanyards jackets i've been getting a lot of requests to do something for the women so i went ahead and made crop hoodies for them this feels great being alive. Right? this is like this is you go to the beach you hang out in it super right? comfy if you guys right? want one dude get it i did change the fabric from the first batch of stuff to the new batch i had to ship in the fabric from the mainland i really am nitpicky on like quality and stuff like that so i did change up the fabric so yes it's gonna cost me a little more but again i take quality more than anything so make sure you guys follow the definitive on instagram hashtag challenge standards all right moment of truth i didn't get to start up the car usually i'll start up the car before we start but we got to air up so we get more clearance in the back so let's cross our fingers boys hopefully this car starts This is gonna look so clean. Guys, just look at that. Like, honestly, that is pretty nice compared to what, 20 minutes ago? All right, second one is done. We did have a slight boo-boo right here. 
So I kind of popped this last tack right here. So Aaron went to go and grab the welder so we can just get this done. Pretty clean on this side, pretty clean on the other side. So I figured let's go ahead and go with question number two while we wait for Aaron. I'm trying to do more ask me a question stuff on my Instagram poll. And maybe if you, even if you guys have a question that you guys want to ask me any question, honestly, go ahead and comment down below as well. Ask me anything. If I don't answer it on the vlog, I probably might just answer your question right there in the comments. So, you know, I want to try and interact with you guys more. So let's go ahead with today's second question. The second question comes from from Roman Zeta, he says, you ever gonna have a 370Z on island rides? And that answer is yes. A couple weeks ago, I actually posted on my Instagram too. I've been trying to look for all the Zs, pretty much the whole Z line and whoever has them on the island. The reason why I really wanna do the Zs right now is because uh, if you guys haven't seen not too long ago, Nissan gave a little teaser on the 400Z coming out. Now I did see a couple prototypes of the 400Z. I'm gonna be honest, I am not impressed right now, but hopefully it turns out better than what the prototypes actually look like. All in all, yes, 370Z, I am working on it. Island rides, hopefully by this month or next month. But yes, 370Z, I am trying to get it on island rides. Let's take a look at this mask. This is pretty legit. So this one is powered, meaning it's auto darkening. There's little sensors in the two top corners. When you turn it on and as soon as the sensors catch sparks or it sees any lights, it will auto darken, meaning you don't have to like flip it up and down and all that crap. And the cool part is this part comes off. So it's like, if you're not doing like full on welding, you can just wear the goggles. All right, zap time. All right, so now we're just gonna have to prep for the fiberglass. Oh, we are gonna be using some really coarse sand. Oh, oh that's a big ass one. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> no, dude, I don't want that. Uh uh. Dude, look at that. It's back again. The wasp. Okay, guys, so lately, when we've been working on the car, there's like been like a wasp every time trying to visit us. Like, where is it? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, sh. Oh, <laughs> Oh, where did, oh my God, he went above the garage door. There's one thing I hate is wasps. I hate wasps so much. All right, so as I was saying earlier, before we got raided by a wasp, we're gonna be using a coarse sanding pad. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a binding surface. Aaron's gonna teach us how to use fiberglass. We're gonna, so, oh, okay, okay, that was a fly, Never mind. <laughs> Y'all's ready. <laughs> I, was, I just saw something. I saw something fly out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was a freaking wasp again. We already prepped this side. We kind of made it a little coarse with a sanding pad. And then we're going to glass the underside and create like a little shelf to come up with the lips. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a seam sealer on the top side to seal out all the weather debris, the dirt, all of that. Underside, fiberglass. All right, let's get edumacated. What are we gonna be doing with fiberglass? Since I have no idea, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know. So fiberglass, it's the devil, honestly, because it's so itchy. But, so this is your mat, fiberglass matting. Fiberglass matting is, well, it's glass fibers weaved into uh, fabric. This is cross weave, this is the resin. This is a polyester marine laminate resin. Um, it's marine grade, this is from our local distributor here in Hawaii. This is more or less the binding agent. So what you do is you would soak your fiberglass matting in the resin and when it all dries, it becomes kind of this like one, I guess one piece and it's like super strong. So this is the part that everyone gets wrong, to be honest. So this is the catalyst. You need to mix a catalyst with the resin or else the resin never hardens. Mixing ratios are on the back. Most of the time, actually almost any resin that you buy they will come with a set of instructions, how much to mix, how and what. Catalyst, this is a specific catalyst to this um, resin. So here's the thing that I always, I've screwed up a few times actually. If you don't put activator in the resin, the resin just doesn't dry. So if you don't mix it properly, and all of the resin that's you know in your mix doesn't get activator, parts that don't have activator won't dry. So you just have like wet spots of fiberglass, which is really annoying to deal with. So when you're fiberglassing, you want to be able to look through it and see the material. Dry oh, versus wet. So wet means a good stick. So this tapping also works out all the air out of the system. All right, so we just finished cutting off the excess. So we got our first two layers on. So this is just the resin itself after it dries, but literally like, this is rock solid. It's crazy how this is, Purple. Purple, pinkish, dried. 
but it's green. A really liquid. nice green, mind you. I know. Science. Science. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so it's already the next day. We decided that it was best to let the car cure overnight as well as bake throughout the day. So I already went ahead and taped off both sides. Today we're using the 3M caulking seam sealer. So last night I was actually watching a lot of RWB videos. If you guys don't know what RWB is, it's Raw Weld Big Griff and that's Nakai-san and his wide body Porsches. Like he literally goes to all the owners and he builds the car right in front of you. In the process, there's a portion where he uses just a caulking gun and tape and like he literally just seam seals all the fenders shut and he runs it with his finger and like it just looks so like so good hopefully one day we can be just as big as him and he is literally like one of my inspirations when it comes to wide body builders like dude this guy is like a freaking legend honestly my motivation to really get these fenders sealed is just the fact that i want to wash the car like literally this car is so dirty so that's why we need to get this done today Literally, like, so we forgot to take the brush out from the epoxy when we were glassing the fenders. Now this thing's a little piece of art for us. If somebody wants to buy this, it's gonna be $10.99 with free shipping. Made in Hawaii, locally made. I'm just kidding. Don't even buy it. You can do that yourself. So it's been about an hour or two just to let everything dry. I kind of went a little too OCD on some stuff. So the original game plan was just to seam seal the rears. And of course, I got the other side done. And then I figure, hmm, while I let this dry. Now, this is totally not necessary. But I just went ahead and seam sealed the front fenders as well. Just to make it look nicer. It looks, to me, it looks a lot cleaner now instead of having those jagged lines. So, so I figured I had that whole bottle and I literally didn't want to waste it. So... Got that side done. And then this side as well, same thing. Looks a lot cleaner now. Being that this is backed by plastic as well, it's like binding it together with the metal. I didn't want any water or debris separating it. So I figured I'd just close this off just to make sure everything's tight. And then I went a little more OCD on things. And I like, seriously, I didn't have to do this, but I figure might as well just do it. So I also seam sealed everything on the other side. There were some flaps here and there on the inside where it was like just a little bit of separation. So I figured, hell, why not just cover everything, make sure everything is covered. So all of that's done. All right, I just wanted to end today's video with one more question from one of you guys that answered my poll on my Instagram. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys follow my Instagram. Also, I do have my startup brand, Definitive. Go ahead and follow them. I'm actually gonna have some stuff going on sale this weekend. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for that as well. So last question of today is gonna be from Mark. He says, how does the past owner feel on cutting this car? and he also says but it's your car now so you can do whatever honestly for one i haven't talked to the previous owner of this car for quite some time the car's in my name so i have the freedom to do whatever i want with it but actually prior to me purchasing this car i did make a promise to the previous owners and it was that i was going to take care of this car and i feel like i have done i mean i am cutting up this car but i am taking the right steps that i have to in order to build this car correctly which also brings me to my next point and i wanted to tell you guys that honestly for all of you guys building your car make sure you guys build it for yourself at the end of the day you guys are the ones driving it you guys are the ones spending the time the money and the headache and the effort all of it and honestly your build is kind of a representation of who you are and you don't want it to be something that you're not so my advice to you guys when it comes to building your cars build it for yourself and have fun at the same time but more so build it for yourself so that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys haven't done so already please make sure you guys smash the like button it'll really help me a lot for you guys that haven't subscribed yet make sure you guys subscribe and ring that bell to be updated on all the videos i have coming out within my channel for the next few weeks i am gonna have a little quarantine slash lockdown series the reason why i'm doing that is hawaii is going under another state shutdown i think for the next 28 days or so so be on the lookout for the next coming videos um i am gonna be doing a lot of talking about automotive but in a way i want you guys to get to know who i am as well and you know me sharing a lot of stuff with you guys but yeah that's that i hope you guys enjoyed today's video remember all of you guys are called to be great all of you guys 
are called to be great in your own way. And always remember, challenge your standards.